Hey guys, it's time for our daily Bible verse today. Today we're going to read Matthew chapter 12, verse 31 and 32. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh in a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Now, I know yesterday we started um, the uh, Christmas story where it's getting close to Christmas, but earlier me and my family were doing a Bible study, and we were talking about these two verses, and I, I really liked them, so I thought I'd talk about them here. And this can seem kind of confusing, but pretty much what it's saying is, God, how I've said before, God will forgive you for your sins if you just ask him to, and you truly feel bad for what you did. So there is only one unforgivable sin, and that's not accepting Jesus into your heart, because um, the reason we want God to forgive us for our sins and things is because we feel bad and we want to repent from them, but um, if you don't accept Jesus into your heart, then like I've said before, you're going to spend eternity in hell, and that is the ultimate punishment. And that's why it's the unforgivable sin, because right here it says, um, All manner of sin and blaspheme shall be forgiven unto men, but the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. So even people that say bad things about God, they really shouldn't, um, because he deserves respect, and he's got power to do anything. He has the control of our lives. He decides when it's our time to leave this planet. But it's saying right here that... Even if you say bad things about God, he'll still forgive you. But if you do not accept Jesus into your heart and get saved, that is the one unforgivable sin. So always be praying for unsaved people and try, try to talk to people who aren't saved. And even if they don't listen to you, maybe you'll plant a seed that they'll kind of wonder more and want to learn more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.